Open so the aye ye baba. Open so the ne kafu baba. Ye baba ma kanda kami ye. Achna si sa wo di ase da baba. Ye obi di aye ye baba. Open so the ne kafu baba. Ye baba ma kanda kami ye kami ye ya. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name.
can you hear me? Yes. Can I be? Can you hear me? Yes. All right. Yeah, because of what happened yesterday, uh, you will not be able to unmute yourself. But then, when when I need you to talk or something, I ask you to unmute. And when I do that, you just accept and just unmute. Is that okay? So you won't be able to unmute yourself. But I ask you to. So when you see the command, just click on unmute. That is when it's time to pray. Amen. Are we together? <clears throat> yes, please. All right. So pray ourselves and enter into a moment of prayer. While we... And uh, revival for March. Tonight is crossover. So we're going to do this till 12 midnight. By the grace of God, we'll be having Reverend Michael with us. He's, he's also struggling with his network to connect, but whatever be the case, we will still have our service. Amen. Amen. All right, so let's enter in a moment of prayer. I mean, just begin to speak in tongues, begin to glorify God, begin to appreciate from January Goodness of the Lord, it has been His mercies. Just appreciate it. Just be Lebaya tala bada bada branda bakada baya da bada leka yanda la baya kada bada bada shande lebede branda bada bada leka da bada bada shande lebede oshanda prata bala kada bada ika luanda bada kada bada masala bada lebaya bada Lay Bada Gada Bashkanda Bada 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 Ya baba 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 ya ba
in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says, in all things, give thanks to the Lord. We want to thank God for the month of March. We want to thank God from the very beginning till now. Uh, I, I may not walk every day with you. Uh, I may not know whatever that happened in the month for you as an individual, but we all had our share in this month. Mm -hmm. We all had mm -hmm. our ups and downs. People were sick, mm -hmm. people were troubled, people were, you know, we, we the, the, definitely somebody has gone through something. But what is important is that you still have life. What is mm -hmm. important is that whatever that you have been through, it did not kill you. It did not it make meant. you, uh, uh, it did not make it impossible for you to join the meeting tonight or oh, your family has been kept safe your, your spouse is okay your children are okay your friends are okay the, the, the mercies of the lord was available for you want to thank god for everything you want to thank god from the deepest part of your heart see now that there is tax on everything if god is to tax the air you breathe if god is to tax you by second or by minute every hour or by hour or daily i'm not sure you'll be able to survive it but but then he, he has just given everything free of charge you want to thank god you want to open in your mouth and say father i thank you for my life i am grateful for everything listen there are times things would happen and it is not how you perceive it it is not how you program it it is not how you want it to be but at the end of the day you see yourself going through things that 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 that, that, that go against your will or desire but the lord has been merciful we thank you. We give you all the praise. We appreciate you. I thank you, Jehovah God. Laba shada doja. Liminian telebroski di bianta. Lekoski vahaluada badosha. Lerabashandalabadosh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you, Holy Ghost. Oh, we just want thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our Lord. We just want to thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our Lord. Oh, we just want to thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our Lord. We, we just want to thank, to thank you, Jesus. Kado Shabaha. Thank you, our Lord. Oh, we just want to thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our Lord. Oh, we just want to thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we just want to thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we just want to thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We want to pray again. The Bible says in Second Corinthians chapter five, the verse seven that. For we walk by faith and not by sight. Yesterday, mm. Prophet Levin, Prophet mm. Sylvester tried to explain this to us. He, he actually went deep with us. And uh, I want us to pray a prayer. We, we, we walk by faith and not by sight. I know there are many things you are expecting the Lord to do for you. I know there are many things that you have put in place and you are expecting to see some sort of result. But I, I, I want us to deal with these things in the realms of the spirit. There is one thing I have learned about life and that is life is a spirit. Everything that you see physically before that thing happens physically it has taken place in the realms of the spirit oh before you will die physically you were dead a day before if it a day ago or you were dead some times ago some hours ago let's say before anything that happens any, any manifestation you see physically there is a spirit in the realms that back data there is there is there is there is there is, there is a performance in the realms of the spirit so we want to pray a prayer of faith. The Bible said, and the woman said to herself, oh, if only I can touch the hem of his garment. Oh, it was a matter of faith. She was not interested in Jesus laying hands on her. She was not interested in coming into contact with Jesus as the physical body. But she said something by faith that just the hem of the garment. The Bible said the other day, mm. when Jesus and his people were walking mm. past a tree, the man was hungry. The scripture, I love it so much. Jesus went to the fig tree oh, to get something to eat, but there was no fruit on a blossom mm. tree, a tree that looks so green, a tree that looks so well, it looks so fertilized. And Jesus mm. said, see, nobody eat from you again. The Bible said the next mm. day when they passed by and saw the tree, the disciples told him, Master, mm. look at the tree that you catched her, but was the tree was dead, it winked from the top to the to the root. Mm -hmm. And the man told them, see, if you can have faith like the mustard seed, you mm -hmm. can tell to this mountain, move from here yeah, to but there, but and it has yeah, no mama. option than to, li to listen. You want to pray a prayer, mm -hmm. maybe but you've been but battling but with some sickness, and it looks like it, 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 it happens every now and then. Mm -hmm. It looks like the medicines are not working. It looks like when you go to the hospital, is the same story every now and then. Oh, Bible said he took our infirmity and he poured our disease. He said, if you can say to this mountain, move from here to there. If you can say to this tree, be thou plucked out and go into the ocean. Oh, I love the part that says it must obey. 
here. I don't know what you are expectant of her. I don't know what you are trusting God for. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know her. what you have been working for. And you are expecting a result. You want to lift up your voice in prayer and declare by faith and call that thing to be. Oh, the woman said, if I can just touch the hem, oh, just the hem, the hem of his garment, you want to declare, oh, that business, wherever you want it to reach, you want to declare by faith now and call it done in the name of Jesus. I don't know if it is sickness, oh, you've taken enough medicine, you've been to many hospitals, you've seen many physicians, but it is the same story. You want to declare now and speak to that situation by faith. Somebody, if you look at the thing by sight, the appearance will frighten you. The appearance will put some fear in you. You will be scared by the size of the thing. I don't know, maybe your marriage is in working, but by faith you want to declare. You want to take God by his word. The Bible said in the book of Mark that therefore what God has put together, let no man put asunder. This might just be a scripture, but you need to enforce it. The Bible said in the book of Job that I will decree a thing and it shall be established. You need to enforce it. You need to speak it to me. Or even from the very beginning, the Bible said that and the end was without form and void. Oh, but the spirit of the Lord was on the surface of the earth. And God said, let there be light. Let there be light. He was not seeing the light, but he called it by faith. He was not seeing the light. It's not as if there was some assurance that there was some light somewhere that he would go and bring to being. But he spoke it by word. He called it into being. I don't know what you are expecting us. I don't know what your predicament is. I don't know what the story is. I don't know what the situation is. But if you can move by faith right now and call it to be somebody, God said the exact word you speak, I hear. That is what I will do. And the God I know, his ears are not shut, that he cannot hear. Oh, his arms are not shut, that he cannot reach out to help. Begin to declare by faith. You want to call that particular thing to be You want to declare that thing to happen. Maybe this year you are expecting God for something. Maybe in the past years, you prayed for the thing, it did not happen, and you get tired. Let me tell you, it is not just so automatic that when you pray, you get an instant answer. Let me tell you, sometimes the delays, oh, it is also an answer. There is one thing that I know about God. When the time is right, he will make it happen. Don't get tired because the past years you prayed and it looked like God did not answer. But you want to take God by his word tonight and declare in the name of Jesus that, oh God, this year, I want to see A or B happening. You want to tell God that this year, for this year, this will happen. The Bible says, yeah. and the woman said to herself, oh, just the hem of his garment, if I can just touch the hem. And indeed, when she touched, there was healing. Virtue came out of Jesus. You want to touch the hem of his garment mm -hmm. in the realms right now. You want to focus on Christ. And you want to touch the hem somebody. Maybe a family member is sick. The person has been bedridden for some time. Oh, they cannot even move. But by your prayers tonight, with faith somebody, there has to be a healing. God has to do something. Something in the Kosha Badabadosa, Lake Abayabada. Mamma, she needed it. 
Do something new in something new in my life. Something new in my life. Oh Lord, do something new. In my life, something new in my life, something new in my life. Oh Lord, oh do something new in my life, something new. In my life, something new in my life. Oh Lord, oh do something new in my life, something new in my life. Something new in my life. Oh, no. listen. Maybe you've been expecting God for a job and you've been sending applications here and there. Well, the story is the same. And then some of the places when you go, they, 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 they don't want to help you because you belong to this political party and the other, so they don't want to help. Uh, I declare over your life and that situation now by faith that the oil of acceptance locates you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> uh, uh, an application that has been rejected, maybe even a year ago, may they remember and call you in the name of Jesus. Maybe, maybe they, 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 they rejected you, maybe even five years ago. Uh, God is a God that that's the impossible. Uh, the, 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 the things that, that, that has been written of her, uh, the things that people think cannot happen. Uh, oh, when you, you when, 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 when all hope is lost, uh, that is when our God steps into the situation. Uh, you have been looking for a job, you've been searching, uh, you've done all you could possibly do right now, uh, but it's just not coming. Uh, I declare by divine authority, may you receive an appointment tonight. Uh, 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 and I call it into being uh, in the name of Amen. Jesus. Your business might be struggling. The customers are not coming. Everyone is complaining and things are hard. The economy is this and the dollar Amen. is this. The city is that. But I declare in the name of Jesus, uh, no matter the hardship of wherever you find yourself, uh, you shall know no struggle. Uh, no matter the difficulty, uh, your business will flourish. Uh, no matter the challenge, uh, 
Sanda like a dosa. I see you still be in business. No matter how difficult it is, may the Lord give you rest. May the Lord give an elevation. May the Lord cause an expansion in the name of Jesus. Kado Sharabaha. In the name of Jesus. I don't know what you've been battling with. Some people are very sick. And every month they have to buy a drug A, medicine B, and all that. Some people are, are more like they, 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 they pick up the They have to be on, on, on drugs. They have to be on, uh, on some sort of boosters. They have to be, a, a, come on, come on. It is, it is an error. In the name of Jesus, I declare right now, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Uh, any strange feeling in your body, any strange happening in your body, any form of sickness, my Bible says, uh, and he heals all kinds of disease. Uh, I declare by faith over your life right now, let that sickness disappear. Every spirit of knee pain, I command you to go. Every spirit of waist pain, I command you to go. Every spirit of yeah, menstrual yeah, disorder, yeah, I yeah, command yeah. you to go. Yeah, Every yeah, spirit yeah, of yeah, headache, yeah, I yeah, command yeah, you to disappear yeah, in the name yeah, of yeah, Jesus. Yeah, spirit yeah, of yeah, people yeah, cannot yeah, even drink water. Kadosh Kalabaha Duaza, I lay hands on your tummy now and I declare healing. In the name of Jesus, I think any part of your body that there is a disorder. Uh, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, I speak over your lives by faith now. Let there be restoration. Anything you have lost, the Lord has restored right now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We want to pray lastly today. And you want to declare that, oh God, for these past three days that we've been gathering here, May I not go back the same. Anything you put before the Lord, the three days you are declaring that, oh God, let me receive my miracle. Let me see my day. In the name of Jesus, you want to declare that anything meant for evil concerning your life, oh, by the Spirit of the Most High God, you are reversing it to your God. Begin to pray. Let go, shepherd one. Ah, my God, the level for in my Zion, there shall be liberty. Lirosh, kabayadabaha. The expectation of the rapture shall not be cut short. Let zuma kidianta. Ibado savalua kade badosha. Let rebo sibibianta la bosha. With the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Kadabra do shadabra. In the name of Jesus. You know, before I sum up the prayers, someone came for this program and then uh, you told yourself that I've been praying. You told yourself that we have been joining this program, but the thing is not happening. Uh, you told God specifically that, Lord, this is that revival I'm joining this time around. It's like you've put something before God. You don't want it to end with you having the same problem again and you are believing God to make it happen or to do it. In the name of Jesus, I endorse that your request. Amen. I seal that request with the blood. And oh, I release no, 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 no. your response. You will not go back the same. The woman said, if only I can touch the hem of his garment. She did not touch in vain, my God. She did not touch in vain. You will not come for this program in vain. There is a response that awaits you. Receive in the name of Jesus. May the Lord surprise you with a miracle. In the name of Jesus. All the time they tell you it is well. And you keep asking, so when exactly is it going to be well? It is well. 
I see God come into your situation now. And I see him restore. I see him repair. I see him provide. I see him, oh, kadado, shabada. It is done. In the name of Jesus. Anything that has been battling with your miracle, that has been battling with your breakthroughs, that has been battling with your blessings, I put an end to that struggle in the name oh, of Jesus. Brother. You have cried enough. You shed a lot of tears in the night. Oh, your joy cometh now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. Father, we commit the program, the rest of the program in your hands. We declare that even as we begin to cross over into the next month, oh, may it not be in vain. May our stay together tonight not be in vain. Let us see you, God, and feel you and experience you for ourselves in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray against every wind of the enemy, every demonic orchestration, or oh, every plan put in place ahead of time concerning this program. Oh, we nullify it in the name of Jesus. We pray against the works of the enemy. We cannot be stopped. We cannot be stopped. We cannot be stopped. Be your name be glorified, Lord. And I pray for the ministers for tonight. May you minister through them in Jesus' name. Even as the songs come, Lord, let there be healing. Let there be healing. Even as the songs come, let there be healing. Let there be restoration. Let your power be felt in the name of Jesus. Even as the word come, even as the, 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 the teachings come, even as the prophecies come, Lord, may we see, may we hear nothing but your power being at work in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Holy Ghost. A lot is going to happen tonight. Thank you, Holy Ghost. We want to enter in a moment of praise and worship. Today is the last day of, okay, yesterday, some of us, we are in April already. So those of you in 31st, you are in the last day. And God has been so faithful. Things, things, things are terrible. Things were terrible. Things are bad. But God has never abandoned you. Have you ever even thought about that? Sometimes our expectations are so high that we, we, we don't know God is doing extremely great for us. Don't be ungrateful, somebody. See, someone entered a car going to work and that was the end. Let me go to work and I'll be back at this. They never came back. By you, you have been moving up and down. People even enter train. They go to, people use plane, flight, and you are back. Come on. That is so great a miracle. You want to thank God. You want to praise God. You want to worship God. And even as we prepare the, 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 the way for the speaker to come, we want to invite Dickness Evelyn to take us to praise and worship. Oh, if you are happy, you just want to make some noise. You just want to make some noise to the king of kings. You just want to make some noise. Please don't join and sleep. Oh, it's as if I'm the only one online. Are you there? If you are there, you want to make some noise even as we take praise and worship. In the name of Jesus. Kado Shadabada. Please take over. Begin to wave your hands to the most high God. Father, we thank you, we worship you, we give you all the praise. We thank you, we thank you. If you are happy to be in the presence of the Lord, just give a wave to the Most High God, just give a wave, just give a wave to show God how you appreciate him, to show him <coughs> you are happy, to show him you are grateful for the gift of life. Father, we thank you, we worship you in Jesus' mighty name. We have given thanks. Amen. We Amen. Thank you. Worship God. We thank you, oh Lord. We thank you, oh Lord. 
We just want to thank you, Lord. We just want to thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, oh Lord. We thank you. We thank you, oh Lord. We just want to thank you, Lord. We just want to thank you. I can't hear you sing. Don't you know the song? Thank you. Oh, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. Oh Lord, we just want to thank you. Lord, we just want to thank you. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, oh Lord. We are grateful. We thank you, oh Lord. We just want to thank you, Lord. We Thank you, Lord. We say you are the reason why I lift my hands. Why I lift you are the reason why I sing to you, Lord. You are the reason I am here today. I'm alive today. It's all because of you. Oh, you are the reason. You are the reason. You are the reason, you are the reason, you are the reason why I lift my hands, why I lift my voice, why I'm here to say, Lord, you are the reason of my life today. I am here to sing. It's all because of you. Hey, you are the reason. You are the reason. You are the reason, you are the reason, you are the reason, Lord, you are the reason, you are the reason, you are the reason. You are the reason I am here today. I am here to sing. It's all because of you. 
You are the reason. You are the reason. You are the reason. God, and I'm keeping God. There is no one like you. How far and omega. There is no one like you. Help me sing. Covenant keeping God. There is no one like you. How far and omega. There is no one like you. Help me sing covenant keeping God. Lord, there is no one like you. God, the covenant keeping God. Alpha and Omega. Let's praise the Almighty God. Let's be in the mood of praise. Hallelujah. As we cross over, let's Amen. praise God for such a beautiful month, March, and such also a beautiful month, April. Hallelujah. Are Amen. you in the praise mood? Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, unto the Lord be, be the glory. Can you clap your hands? With this, he has done unto the Lord be, be the glory. With this, he oh, unto the Lord, unto the Lord be the glory.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have praise. Amen. 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 That was great and powerful. We thank you, Dickens. Evelyn, you yes. tried to do a touch of Ewe. That was good. <laughs> yes. God bless you. You did well. She's not a Voltarian, but she... Yes, uh, worshiping God, there is no race, there is no limitation. Exactly. You did so great. Exactly. God bless you. Yeah. And God bless you also for uh, those who were humming in their head and those who were tapping mm -hmm. their feet and those who were singing. Uh, uh, so God bless you all. Yeah, so now God bless you. the word I uh, invite our speaker mm -hmm. for tonight uh, is a brother and a friend and a fellow pastor. It's interesting how we all become pastors, you know. I know Reverend Michael in the Shanti region when I was doing my service with ADP. He was a staff doctor. I was there when he was transferred there. So we met there. And you see, it's good to make good friends and good network, right? After many years here, we are and uh, been on the same platform to worship God. And he's also a pastor with the Witness Chapel, if I'm right, New NBRC. Also, if I'm right. Okay, that's yeah, correct. Yeah, okay. Our, our sister, too, is, is from Witness Chapel. So tonight is actually a Witness something. So we are Witness tonight. Amen. <laughs> hey, hey, also, for, we are more than conquerors. Hallelujah. It is working. It's that is my best right in Christ. <laughs> That's the beautiful. That's beautiful. All right. So tonight we have Reverend Michael Asari with us. He's a wonderful man of God. He's a father and husband as well. And he's a brother too. He's going to take us through tonight, even as we cross over into the month of April. If you're happy to have him, you just want to make some noise. You know, the, okay. Before before he comes, you know, because of uh, the, the the noise and the background and all those things, when he's ministering, feel free to use the message box. Type in, send emojis, send things to show that you are there. If you are not sending it, I want. But before we close, I want to see everyone send something. If you don't send anything, it means you are sleeping. <laughs> and have a good night and sweet dreams. All right. Okay. So, so we kindly take over, please. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Tonight, the network is very wonderful. And, um, <laughs> we are trusting God for a breakthrough tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Whatever the songs may be, whether network or no network, we see minister. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> also, please. Let's be sensitive at this moment. Let's begin by thinking about the goodness of the Lord. Let's begin to meditate in our heart and our mind. Even as a minister, I don't have a very good voice, but when you're in the spirit, you don't, you don't put much emphasis on the voice. Hallelujah. Amen. As well, let's begin to think about the goodness of the Lord. Let's begin to adore his name in our heart. Let's begin to appreciate his name. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we appreciate your name. In the mighty name of Jesus, we appreciate your name. We discover his goodness. In the mighty name of Jesus, 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 we appreciate your name. Emma <laughs> 
Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, you will never leave yourself without a witness. Uh. As we have gathered here tonight, Father, work on us tonight. Amen. Wherever we need the touch, Lord, you are the omniscient God. <coughs> You are the God of Eroi. You are the God mm. of Elijah. Amen. You are the God that sees the ever each and everyone needed a touch, Lord. Mm. Father, pass us not by. Give us a touch in this moment, even as you are about hearing your word. Amen. Now, yes, tonight, Lord. we daily load up with the benefit. What is your heart desire? Mm. I want you to pray in your heart in the next one minute. What is your heart desire? What are you trusting God for? I got prayed the prayer. You say, Father, let me not be too rich that I'll say there is no God. Mm. What is your prayer? Maybe you have to say, Father, take off me the spirit of pride. Mm. Let it be far away from me. The mm. spirit of I know too much. So I don't mm. make tonight. What is your heart desire? Pray your heart desire out. Pour out your heart desire. That which you want, declare. That which you don't need, decree. Mm. For them to be out of your life. Mm. Speak out. Speak your way. 
stay away. An opportunity has been given that we should seek, we should act, we should knock. In line with Matthew 7, 7. Tonight, a blank check has been given. What are you trusting God for? You can say, Father, I am not returning the same way I came in. I am not entering into a new month with the same attitude. I am not entering into a new month with those same challenges. I am yes, entering this month gallantly, Lord. Shut Father, up, you meet your people, Lord. Let mm. your people be blessed. Cast my mouth with a coal of fire. Let me mm. speak with precision. Kadibra, mm. kadianda. Renew the apostolic seal upon my life. I Amen. connect to my father in faith. I connect to my father in faith. Pastor Stephen Buedu. I connect to my father in faith. Speak through me now. Let your word have a free course in the life of your people. Father, Amen. I thank you. For I know we are returning with testimony. For Amen. I know we are returning with testimony. Mm-hmm. Now, in Jesus' name. Now, sweet Holy Ghost will release you unto a harvest of. You are not a God that is being limited with proximity. Mm-hmm. Wherever each and every one finds himself or herself. Sweet Holy Ghost, minister to your people. Touch Amen. your people. Let them not return the same way they came in. Confirm every word that will proceed out of my mouth in their life in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Bracatata, I break every day, Lord. Cause the ear of your people to hear. Cause their eyes to see you. Let them be illuminated via the way in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. That we celebrate your name. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Put your hands amen. together for Jesus' Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. Please, let's be sensitive. As the ministration is going on, many will be touched, many will be healed. Amen. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Amen. amen. We just have to be sensitive. We just have to be sensitive. We just have to be sensitive. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for this great. We thank God for making this day. Indeed, He has confirmed His word in our life that this is the day He has made that we should rejoice and be glad in it. Therefore, we thank God for each and everyone's life here. Mm. In Jesus' name. Amen. Our second thanks also go to the leadership. Of Gem Grace Evangelica Evangelistic Network, the leadership mm-hmm. led by Dr. Fan and crew. God bless you for putting this prophetic ministry and for putting this three day prophetic gathering together. I know God is going to open doors beyond measure for each and every one that has been a part of this program in Jesus' name. Amen. Who will testify. Amen. Then next we gather, it will not just be about you and I. It will be about yes, many nations that are connected here in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. As you have started, you will finish and finish it well. Amen. Yeah. It will not be said of you that you were once part of it, but will be part mm. of it from this time forth to the end in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen.
Amen. Amen. And I thank with I thank I specifically thank you, precious one, for being a part of it. Without you, we wouldn't have been here. And so thank you for joining us. And I know tonight you are not returning the same way you came in. If you believe amen. it, sounds a bigger amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. And so we have been taking a short chat on the prophetic theme that has been given to us by God's servant. Hmm. My, that is titled, Test the Hem of His Garment. Hmm. Hallelujah. Tonight Amen. we are going to delve deep into it. I pray God give us an understanding of Jesus. Hmm. The hem of His Garment. For the past two days, our prophet in the house, has been taking us through the teachings of just the hem of his garment, and I believe each and every one here has been blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. But tonight, Amen. we are going to take it into a different dimension. I pray you follow suit, grab, take your portion, and come return with your testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Now, before Amen. I zoom into it, Please, as I said, it is going to be a bit technical, but when your first man is alive, you will catch it. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Just Amen. the hem Amen. of his garment. Amen. Now, Amen. Before a believer can identify a garment, the believer needed to know whom he or she is in Christ. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Before you can see a light in darkness, you, your spirit man needed to be alive. And so for you to be, to be able to touch the hem of the garment, you needed to know who you are and what the garment stands for, the benefits that come with it, and what it takes to touch. <laughs> Because when you look at the woman with the issue of blood, you can tell many were the people that were following Jesus Christ. Are we saying that those people needed, they didn't have any talent or want or need? What is that that the woman, what is it that the woman saw in Jesus Christ that, that the others couldn't see? Mm. Was it that the people were okay with their life? Was she the only one who needed an assistant? What is it that she saw that the people failed to see? What is it that people are doing and they are progressing, but the same thing you are doing, but you are not seeing any results? Mm. Is it that you are, you are not seeing clearly or you are not seeing right? Or there is that which is in you that is not seeing right? Mm. I believe you get me. Yeah. So to touch the hem of the garment, you needed to know whom you are. You needed to know the privileges you have as a child of God. You needed to know whom you are in Christ. And so what is the garment you are talking of to you as a believer? Is it just a portion of a cloth? Is it just a cloth? Is it just so, so, something, a, a scarf? Is it a, a part of a clothes? What are we talking of? Believe us, to start with, we need to understand that whatever we desire for, whatever you and I are craving for, came to life via the word. Mm. And so the garment stands for the word. It is the That's word true. that you know that you put into practice. As you put it to practice, it tends to it returns to you as a testimony or a miracle. So the hem of a garment to you as a believer shouldn't be just like a cloth. But the hem of a garment to you as a believer tonight, guarded here, is the word of God. Because if you are, you are illuminated concerning the word of God, you know that the issue of blood is nothing compared to the blood of Jesus Christ. And so in John chapter 1, verses 1 to 5, and I read, 
In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him things were made. Without him was made that was made. In him was life, and that the life was the life of all mankind. The light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness cannot overcome it. And so the, 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 the light you see in a dark situation becomes the gum, the, the, the hair, or the garment you are looking for. As I said, tonight is going to be a very technical one. So I pray your first man in my life. Receive the grace to understand in Jesus' name. Amen. So for you to see light in the darkness of the situation around you, you need the word of God. That's right. Because without the word of God, creation wouldn't have come to play. Without the word of God, healing wouldn't have come to play. So the garment you and I know, the garment we need to work with as a child of God, as a believer, is the word of God. Because mm. he said that in his way, without him was nothing made. So if you are trusting God for a healing, you need just to have the word at hand. Believer, it is very bizarre to see a child of God trusting God for a miracle, but does not know a, word, a single word concerning the miracle he or she is looking for. Mm. We need to understand that God is not moved by fear. God is not moved by sorrow. God is moved by his word. So what That's does right. the word say concerning your life? So for you to have a touch, you needed to have a word of God in you. The woman with the issue of blood had this life, had this understanding. Believer, before you can move from one state to another, before you can move from one place to another people, you needed to have what it takes to be there. And to, for you and I, what it takes to be there is the word of God. I pray Amen. for you tonight. Wherever you have missed it, as wherever you have thought code concerning the word of God, as the word is going for, may you be restituted back to your place in Christ in Jesus' name. Amen. We needed to know. Now you know that that which you need to move in life is the word of God. Before you can take this life to a next place, you need to know whom you are inside. I always tell people that are around you, believer, before you can, you can, before you see yourself as a king, you need to have an understanding that your father is a king. If not, you'll be a servant. Mm -hmm. So the word is available. What is your position to go for the way? Are you a slave to the way? Or you are master to the way. So whom are you in Christ? And so in Genesis chapter 1, verse 27 to 28, and I read, so God created mankind in his own image. And in the image of God, he created them, male and female, he created them. Then in verse 28 of Genesis chapter 1, he said, and God blessed them and said, be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and over every living creature that moves on the ground. So this is whom you are in Christ. You are a dominion taker. And so sicknesses are not permitted in your domain. You are a mm. dominion taker. That is your redemption in Christ. And so the word of God it's not for a beggar. It is for the one that is redeemed, the one that has been sanctified to dominate. It is when you have the consciousness that you can go for the word to move on to the next stage in life. So you need to understand, it doesn't matter where you find yourself. It doesn't matter what people are saying concerning you. That which you know, that cannot be taken away from you, is your best right. What is your best right? Your best right is that you are a dominion taker. So sicknesses are not permitted. 
Poverty are not permitted. Barrenness are not permitted. Beggar is not supposed to be your name. Amen. So the Amen. Bible said you are a dominion taker. And so sicknesses are not permitted to dominate over you. Poverty are not permitted to dominate over you. Unemployment are not permitted to dominate over you. You are a dominion taker. That is your best right. Amen. Hallelujah. Once you know your best right in Christ, you don't beg for. So now you know that that what you are looking for can only be achieved via the way. And so now you know that you are a dominion taker. So what you empower you to go for the way, to put the way into use. Remember, the woman with the issue of blood knew that he was, she was created by God. And that sicknesses, irrespective of how long, as a matter of fact, it took her 12 years to have her healing. She didn't lose hope. What is that that kept her in faith? What is that that kept her spirit man alive in the spirit of faith? Mm -hmm. So what is faith to you as a believer? In Hebrews chapter 11, verses 1, the substance of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. Mm -hmm. So before you can go for the word, you need to know whom you are in Christ. And mm -hmm. for you to hold on to the latter, you need faith. You need faith. Believer, you heard God audibly. My son, leave the banking sector, go start out of a church. You go start a church. It has been one year, people are not coming. It has been two years, people are not coming. It has been three years, then you hear the voice of the Lord. Even though it's sad, it shall surely come to pass. Abracadiaza. You only need, the only thing that will keep you going is the, is the spirit of faith. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because Amen. you heard God audibly. You heard God audibly. You heard God audibly. My daughter, my son, that is your life partner. That is your wife. That is your husband. You go to this marriage. First year, they are beating you. Second year, they are beating you. You go for counseling. Mm -hmm. Then the, the pastor will say, eh, what man has got, what God has joined together, let no man put an ascender. I bet you, what will keep you in that marriage is the faith you have in God. Mm -hmm. Why? Because between you and I, you heard God audibly that this is your husband. This is your wife. What is it that, what is it that, I, where, where did I fall short? Where am I, why am I experiencing this beating after I have audibly heard from God? What you kept, what to keep you in the faith is the spirit of faith. If not, you will give up. Mm. Hallelujah. May God Amen. give us an understanding in Jesus' name. So Amen. for you to touch the, the hem of the garment, you need a special grace. Mm. And those two, three, three things that I have touched on, you need to have the word of God. You yourself, you need to know whom you are. After that, there is a driving force that needed to push you, and that is the spirit of faith. When you miss any one of these, the garment will be there, but you cannot touch it. That is why people, a lot of people lose hope in Christ. Hmm. That, is, that is why a lot of people have become cold in church. That is why a lot of people have drawn back from the church to the world. Because these three things were missing in their life. I pray for you tonight. As you have been privileged to join this meeting, wherever you have missed it, I call for double restitution for you now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. May the spirit of faith be done on you tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. May the garment of the word done on you tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. And so now you Amen. understand who you are in Christ. Just the hem of his garment. If you touch the hem of the garment without the word, it will not work. Mm. If you touch the hem of the garment with a slave mentality, it will not work. <laughs> If you tie the hem of the garment without faith, it will not work. <laughs> what would make you work is when you tie the hem of the garment with the way. Amen. If you tie the hem of the garment with 
dominion mentality, you will have it. If you touch the hem of the garment with faith, you will have it. That is why you can have a lot of people in church who are sick, yet the pastor will prophesy and only one person will have the healing. You know why? Mm. It's because they are missing one or two things. Believer, I want to charge you tonight. Go for the way. I want to charge you tonight. Have a dominion taker mentality. I want to charge you tonight. Have the spirit of faith in you. When these three things are combined, no devil, no demonic power, nobody from your maternal, paternal family can stop you from what you want to become. Mm -hmm. Because God, he or she will be contending with God. Hallelujah. Mm. So you need to possess these three things. So it is not just about touching the hem of the garment. It is not just touching about the hem of the garment. It is about touching the hem of the garment with a mentality. What is this this mentality we are talking of? Nothing Nothing was was made without the word. And so you need the word. Who Who are you in Christ? A slave slave cannot go to the king and command the king. So you cannot cannot touch the hem of the garment with a slave mentality. mentality. It won't work. Mm. You cannot touch the hem of the garment without faith. It will not work. It will not work. work. Because Because without without faith, you cannot cannot please God. God. I I pray pray for you tonight. May May the spirit of of faith faith turn on you tonight in Jesus' Jesus name. name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And so shall, shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Understand, understand that, that when, when these three things are working in your life, mm. there is no barrier. Amen. Let me draw your attention to Leviticus chapter 15, verse 19. Concerning the Mosaic law, it was a taboo for a woman that is having flow of blood to come to the midst of people. It was a taboo. Leviticus chapter 15, verse 19. And I read, when a woman was a regular flow of blood, the impurity of her monthly period will last seven days. And anyone who touches her will be unclean till evening. Verse 20. Anything she lies on during her period will be unclean. And anything she sits on will be unclean. Verse 21. Mm-hmm. Anyone who touches her bed will be unclean. They must mm. wash their clothes and bath with water, and they will be unclean till evening. Verse 22. Anyone who touches anything she sits on shall be unclean, and they must wash themselves and bath with water. They will be unclean till evening. Then verse 23. Whether it is the bed or anything she was sitting on, when touches it, they will be unclean till evening. This is the Mosaic law. Hmm. concerning the woman with the issue of blood. Believer, you see, when you are going through trust and temptation, that, that which, which will bring, bring you back, back that, that which will hold your confidence, confidence in God, God is, is the three things that I have mentioned. mentioned. The, the way, way to meet your mentality and, and the, spirit the spirit of faith. faith. Now, now, when, when these three, three things were, were, were at work in the woman, woman the, 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 the mosaic law would not stop, stop her. her. Mm. Mm. I, I don't know what you are going to I don't, I don't know, know what your people, people are telling you. you. I, I don't, don't know, know what the doctor has told you. That you will not be able to give it. You are going to die. I came to charge you tonight. And the spirit of God is at work in you. All, All those evil reports are being cancelled being canceled now in Jesus' name. You, you, you shall not die. You will live to declare the word of the Lord. Lord. In, in Jesus' name. Look, look there are times you come up to a crossroad. When you move forward, there, there, there is nobody. To come back, back there is nobody. It seems the word has, has given up on you. As a matter of fact, this is what they are even saying concerning you. But with the, the spirit of, of God, God at work in you, those, those barriers are nothing to contend with. Mm. As, As a matter, matter of fact, it will give way for you. This, this law, law, the Mosaic law, law was, was at work. work. 
yet, yet the, the woman, woman was, was able, able to come, come out to touch, touch the hem of the garment, garment. and, and she was healed. Believe that do not, not let situations, situations and circumstances keep, keep you, you down, down there. there. You, you are, are bigger, bigger than that. We, we serve a God who is of no barrier. He is the omniscient God, the Alpha and Omega. The God who has begun with you will finish and finish well with you. That's Amen. what you need to know are these three things that I have for you. The Mosaic law couldn't stop the woman. The Mosaic law will not stop you. Your Amen. family law will not stop you. Amen. The educational barriers will not stop you. The marital Amen. barriers will not stop you. The Amen. promotional barriers will not stop you. The disfavor will not stop you. You Amen. are breaking barriers. You are Amen. moving through with power in Jesus' name. These Amen. are what the things you need. These are the things that you need in order to break through. Hallelujah. Mm. Amen. The woman touched, well, the, the touch of the woman was so powerful and mighty that Jesus Christ felt a touch. So even in the multitude, in Luke chapter 8, verse 42 to 48, Jesus has said, someone has touched me. And Peter, the eloquent one among them, said, Master, Master, there are many people here. There are many people here. How can you say somebody has touched you? Mm. He said, yet someone has touched me. Believe that it is how aggressive you are that will determine your results. Amen. You are battling with these issues. Yet when you enter into your closet and you are praying, God, 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 <laughs> you are not saying anything. <laughs> And you are saying, God, 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 God. And you are going, God, 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 God. <laughs> Be aggressive. The woman, the woman touch with all her heart, her power. The testimony of Hannah. Hannah was, 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 was I mean, was, was deep tied and praying her heart with all her passion that the prophet Eli thought she was drunk. <laughs> In this end time, how do you pray as a believer? You are saying, Father, I want to touch your garment, yet you don't have the word of God in you. Mm -hmm. Father, I want to touch your garment, but yet when you go to your prayer, your, 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 your closet, you are praying, Father, I beg you, Father, I beg you, Father, I beg you, Father, I beg you. You don't know whom you are in Christ. You are praying, Father, I need this miracle. Then there is no faith. You are thinking of an uncle to go and, go and pay price right for you. It, it doesn't work. May God give us understanding in Jesus' name. Amen. These are the things that you need. You know, normally when you read this way, this way, they are not sweet. So the amen, you know, here, but I'm already encouraging my spirit. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm already amen. encouraging. These are the things that you need. Believer, when even a prophet pray for you with one gallons of oil and you don't have these things are missing in your life, you go, you come back. Mm -hmm. Because some things are spiritual laws. Mm -hmm. You need to have them. The faith that brought a healing was not a dead faith. Believer, mm -hmm. the faith that brought a healing was an active faith. Let me ask you, I tell you tonight, what is the level of your faith? When the issue comes, you quail like a millipede. <laughs> a millipede will be moving boldly. A little touch, then they quail. <laughs> what is the level of your faith? You are trusting God. You are praying day and night. I need this miracle job. I need it. Yes, the little storm, you quail. Mm. This woman had expended all her, her wealth. The Bible, when you read the account, it tells you that, that she has used her all. The only thing that she has is Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Believer, if you rely on your educational prowess, if you rely on your, 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 your caring status, if you rely on your finances for now, I'm telling you, you have missed it. 
Because in the times of storm, those things cannot save you. What you need to touch the hem of his garment is the word of God. Is the word of God. You see, let me shock you. Let me shock you with this testimony. In Isaiah chapter 38, Isaiah 38, the story of Hezekiah, the Bible said, and God sent a prophet Isaiah to tell Hezekiah that put your house in order. You are about to die. What did Hezekiah do? Did Hezekiah beg the prophet to pray for him? No. Hello? Hi. Did Hezekiah ask the prophet to pray for him? No. No. The Bible said, Hezekiah turned the face to mm. the wall. And he mm. cried so. Stop. And he remembered God of his word. Mm-hmm. Hello. Hi. Amen. He remembered God of his word. He didn't say, God, you know me, I'm Hezekiah. I've been telling you. No, 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 no. He said, Father, your word says. Mm. So the word of God you, that you do not know cannot produce for you a result. Mm. The word of God you do not know cannot produce for you a result. Amen. The word of God you do not know cannot produce for you a result. Mm. And so you are mm. trusting God for, for, for testimony. What is the word of God you know concerning that? Mm-hmm. Wow, how do you even enter? How do you, do you enter as a thief or you enter as a landlord? <laughs> and when you finally enter and the face is not correct, do you return or with faith you stand? <laughs> the Bible said, and, you can, and God was moved. Remember, God sent a prophet to God, didn't just send anybody. <laughs> After the prophet was about entering into his city, the God, God spoke to him again. Prophet, go back and tell Hezekiah that his cry has gotten to me. I pray mm-hmm. for you tonight. Wherever the word of God is dead in your life, may that get back to life in Jesus' name. Amen. May every dead word of God in you get back to life now in Jesus' name. Amen. That, Amen. that, that is your testimony. <clears throat> And so this was the testimony of Hezekiah. The word of God you do not know cannot produce for you a result. Amen. Mm-hmm. So you cannot touch the hem of the garment. Minus the word. It will not work. So if you have been praying for a particular thing and there is no change of result, please go back to the mirror and check again. Check the prayer point. Mm-hmm. There is no quotation. There is no word attached to it. So it, God is not, it, it, it does not God's word. God's mm. word is not about quoting. God's word is about the word you know, the foundation you know, upon which mm. you stand and pray. And so the word of God that produced the result for the woman after she has expended all her resources was faith. And faith came by what? Hearing and hearing from what the word of God. The word of God. So even faith cannot work without the word of God. Mm-hmm. I pray for you tonight. May the word of God be your portion now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This is what Amen. you need. This is what you need to have in order to tie the hem of the garment. You know, when I saw the, 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 the team upon which we were going to teach, I said, God, what do I have to say? Is it about just the blood? He said, no. There is something about the garment that people do not know. So which people are disappointed in me. It is not just about the garment. It's about the mentality they use in touching the garment. They have no word in them. They have no faith. And they come here as a beggar. That's why it's not working for them. I said, Father, I thank you. Mm. Hallelujah. So this is the key to need to touch the hem of the garment. Hallelujah. Amen. But there are some and uh, there are attitudes that you need to, to possess in order to provoke the power in the garment. 
Hallelujah. Now, Amen. the three keys, the kingdom of God is like that they operate with keys. So the three I gave you were the keys to assess the garment. But mm -hmm. as, a, as an individual, there are some special characteristics you need to possess in order to assert this power. First and foremost, you, your faith must be a daring faith. Your faith must be what? A daring faith. You must have an active faith. The daring faith is not a faith that you know that your father is going out. You know that your father has money. You say, Father, today, I want you to buy me a shirt. Then you tell your colleague, I know my father will buy me a shirt. Today. That's why he's not faith. Mm -hmm. The faith is where you, you know that, you know, you know very well that this is not there. Yet you trust God. Mm. Now we look at the account of Daniel chapter 3, the story of the Hebrew boys. They had not, they had not seen God before, hmm. but they have heard of him. King Nebuchadnezzar tested them. He said, King, whether you increase the fire or not, you will not save that your God. And, but they made a passionate appeal to him. He said, even if our God will not save us, we know when we perish. You are going to the right side. That is a very fatal. You, even when you are cooking and the late touches you, then you are shouting. But this is a fire, a fire, an open fire that has been heated seven times its normal capacity. Look at Daniel chapter six, where the men gathered to plan evil against Daniel. Mm -hmm. Daniel has not been beaten by, by, by even a kid before. Daniel said, whether lion then or no then, I will, I will still preach by God. That is a very thing. Like, what is the level of your faith? Hmm. You say, Father, I trust you for this job. First year is not coming. Second year is not coming. Third year, I ask you, Akosia, what is your job? Ah, uh, they say they might you. May God give you grace in Jesus' name. Amen. The daring faith is when you wait five years, ten years, the word is not coming. Yet people see you. Of course, you are, how are we doing? You say, oh, I am a miracle in the making. I am no, mm -hmm. I know God is perfecting me. I know I am moving to the right place. That is the daring faith. Um, bah, bah, bah. Mm -hmm. The daring faith is when they see you. You say you are not an employee. You say, look, it is just a matter of time. In a few days to come, you will see me. You will bow. Amen. You will bow. That is the devil of the faith. May God engrace you to that point in Jesus' name. Amen. A daring faith. Again, if your faith is an active one and you don't believe, it will not work. Mm. We are learning about remarkable attitude that provokes the power in the garment. Remarkable attitude that provokes the power in the garment. First, we are saying your faith must be active and daring. The second one is you must have a believing heart. Look, when the woman touched it, when the woman touched the hem of the garment, she knew Jesus Christ was the lender of last resort. Mm -hmm. So she cannot touch Jesus Christ and still go home with the issue of blood. And so mentality, her mentality changed from blood to healing. Mark chapter 11, verse 23. The Bible says, if you have faith, you can say to this mountain, move, and it shall, not, it shall move. If only you will believe and you will not doubt it. Believe. Believe. You walk to the hospital, they have diagnosed you. You cannot give birth. You say, abracadabracadabracadabracadabracadabracadabracadabracadabracadabracadabracadabracadabracadabracadabracadabracadabracadabracadabracadabracadabracadabracadabracadabracadabracadabracadabracadabracadabracadabracadabracadabracadabracadab
I believe Amen. I shall return. You go and you come back. The next day they call you to do work. That is mm. the belief you have. You are talking of. That's right. That is the belief you are talking of. Believe it. Believe it. You go to the office. They sack you. Then you come. They ask you. I go here. How did you go? Ah, uh, maybe it's God. God doesn't want you to work there. Who told you? <laughs> the kingdom of God suffers violence. In. The violence is by force. And the violence they get is what by force. Believer, until you have this mentality, you'll be hovering around the one circle in, in and flu, to and flu, to and flu, and you think that nothing is working. Yes, the, you need to, uh, the, the third key we are looking at is you must test for it, test for it. Test. Whatever you don't test for, you don't attract. When you are thirsty and you don't go in for water, will it quench your thirst? Mm -hmm. hmm. It is only when you are thirsty that you go look for water. It is only when you are thirsty that you go look for water. So at every point in time, you need to test. At every point in time, you need to test for the word of God. Test for it. And then on the number one, the last and foremost is sacrifice. Mm. You need to possess a sacrificial mentality. Sacrifice. Sacrifice is not about just going to cook, case, uh, take some chicken and you kill it. Those are the Old Testament. Why are you saying sacrifice now for you to, as a believer, you need to forgo the body? For go for go your personal interest. Matthew 6 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all that is at the other end. Amen. Uh, so you have been praying, Father, me, myself, my children, my husband, Father, me, myself, my children, change your way, sacrifice, forget your problems, intercede for others. Abraham in Genesis chapter 12, verse 1, the voice of the Lord came, Abraham, put your things together. So again, from your father's house to a place where I show you. If you don't have sacrificial mentality, you know this. But there was no way it was written that Abraham was angry in the father's house. But he possessed a mentality. And what is this mentality? The mentality of sacrificial sacrifice. Believer, you have been in that place for long. Sacrifice. The body is such that it always looks for something to feed on. Mm. Uh. But that which brings testimony is your spirit man. Mm. And your spirit man will only come to life if only you sacrifice the body, what the body asks for. Go out of your comfort zone. You have lived there for a very long time. Move out. You have been praying for yourself, you and yourself, your family only. Nothing is changing. Move out of that zone and go and pray for others. Mm. You seek for your only interest. Forget your interest now. Begin to seek for the interest of God. There is no giant. No giant makes a mark without a mark. Uh -huh. There is no major general in the army without a mark. And those marks are only gotten through sacrifices. You can break chains. You can break boundaries. You can break barriers. If only you sacrifice. Believer, from January to now, what have you sacrificed? Hmm. What have you sacrificed for God? When was the last time you said this month's salary? When I take, I am going to give it to the advancement of the kingdom. Not thinking about whether pastor will take it or not. <clears throat> sacrifice. You cannot sacrifice and be a beggar unless mm. the word of God is not true. Mm. But to conclude, there is one enemy 
to look out for. If not, the garment can be touched, yellow, black, blue, yet nothing work. And the enemy is the spirit of unbelief. Revelation, Revelation 21 verse, verse 8. eight. But, but the cowardly, the unbelieving, the veil, the murderers, the sexually immoral, those who mm. practice magic arts, the idolaters, all liars, they will be consigned to the fiercy lake of burning sulfur. This is the second death. And so when you possess an unbelieving spirit in you, that there is no way to have, have a touch, touch of the, the garment, garment and it will answer, answer for you. Mm. You, are you are more like dead. Like I, I pray, pray for you, for you tonight. Wherever, Wherever the spirit of unbelief is operating in your life, be it your education, your finances, your, your marriage, marriage, your, your education, your going out, your coming, coming in, in, your ministry, and, and the word, word of God has gone forth. May those jokes be broken by your life, life now. now. In, in Jesus', Jesus name. Amen. 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 The spirit of death is cancelled out of your life. Amen. You will believe. I, I prophesy over your, your life. life. You, you will not be over, over, over again. You, you will not miss it again. You, you will not cast your stone back again. But you, but are, you are moving forward. You are, you are taking territories. You are taking territories. You are breaking Amen. barriers. You are breaking Amen. dominion. In Jesus' name, receive, receive the grace. Receive, receive by the ascending. Now, Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Yeah, Mama That is the word of God tonight. Suddenly, we zoom into a moment of prayer where the touch of God is going to be made manifest upon you and our life. But I want you to pray for something. The parable of the sewer. When you see you, some fell, fell on good grounds, others on stony grounds, uh, others on rocky grounds. Uh, but those that fell on good grounds grew and generated to become what they are destined to be. I want you to pray this prayer. Father, your word has come to me. Remove from me far away the spirit of unbelief. Let me be the doer of that way. is for the redeemed. The Bible said we might not be speaking the truth if we say we are not sinners. I want you to pray this prayer. 
Father, remove from me any debt wherever I have fallen short. Whatever will be a blockade to my prayers tonight. Father, as I lift up my voice and pray, may those errors be erased in Jesus' name. Fetch me. Let me become as pure as the snow. Even as I'm about to request. Pray this prayer for me. It's a personal supplication prayer. Ask God to cleanse you. Ask God to cleanse you from every filthiness of the flesh in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever you are from, wherever you are going, just say, Father, forgive me. Whatever has been, no me and no me, my thoughts. If it has gone contrary to your way, forgive me, Lord. Wash me, Lord. In the spirit of anxiety, in the spirit of anxiety, Lord, that has caused me to sin, forgive me, wash me, flesh me, in the name of Jesus, every spirit of bitterness, every spirit of inhibitiveness, every spirit of anxiety, whatever I have done. That is, that is just contrary, contrary to your word. Forgive me, forgive me, Lord. Wash me, Lord. Wash me, Lord. Wash me, Lord. Wash me, Lord. Make me holy. Make me holy. Make me pure. For tonight, even as I'm about to repent, in the mighty name of Jesus, pray this prayer with understanding. Wash me, Lord. Cleanse me, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Abracadiata, in the mighty name of Jesus. Abracadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagadagad
for the month of February. Father, we thank you for the month of March. Father, we thank you for the month of April. In the mighty name of Jesus, we appreciate your name. We adore your name. We need to thank you from a grateful heart. In the name of Jesus, thank you in the Holy Ghost. Thank you in your own understanding. In the mighty name of Jesus. Abracati the testimony of Jesus Christ when he appeared at the tomb of Lazarus, what he did was that he gave thanks. He said, Father, I thank you. But for the people around to know I serve a living God. Let this dead man come back to life. Tonight we are going to pray a word for prayer. We have a prayer. Everything dead in your life will jack back to life. In the name of Jesus. Whatever is hindering your progress, as we cross over to a new moon, to a new man, to a new land, you will never be the same. What is required of you is your heart. One enemy that can stop your breakthrough is yourself. When they, when they say, say pray, 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 you don't pray. It's not, it's not the devil. It is you. It is you. When they say, when they say believe, and you don't, believe. and you don't believe, it's not the devil. It's not the devil. It is you. You have waited upon God. But the past three days, we left about 27 minutes to enter into a new moon in Ghana. So don't let these few minutes take your testimonies away. If you are alive, shout a bigger amen. 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 Sweet Holy Ghost, we welcome you once again. We saturate the atmosphere, Lord. Even, Even as we are communing with you, every year that is not ordained to be here, every eye that is not ordained to be here, in the spirit man that is not ordained to be here, as your prayer go forth, let there be a release of your two edged sword. Amen. To clear them off in Jesus' name. Amen. Sweet Holy Ghost, take charge of the atmosphere. Confirm every way that will proceed out of the mouth of your people in the mighty name of Jesus. We curse the spirit of slumber. We curse the spirit of slumber. We curse the spirit of unbelief. We curse the spirit of any like a basical attitude. Empower us. Begin to speak in the Holy Ghost now. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hallelujah. We are going to pray against every stranger in our life. Every stranger that is keeping our spirit man down. We are going to pray against such people. The testimony of the sower again. Another, Another parable, parable concerning a man that, that planted good seed with the servant. But a night came and the devil came to sow tears among them. Hallelujah. He said, do, You see, do those weeds, those tears, don't, don't cut them down. A time, a time cometh where we'll, where we'll them gather them up and take off, and the, take good, off the good the seed from the bad seed and, and bend, bend the chaff. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 13, verse 24 to 30. When, when you have time, time read that account. We are going to pray that prayer. They are saying, oh Lord, let every stranger that has kept me down in the month of March as I am entering into a new month, may those strangers be cleared off now in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. We are saying, oh Lord, as we cross over to a new month, every stranger, every weakness, every weakness, every demonic power, that, that has kept me down in the month of March as we enter a new month and, and I lift my voice and pray may those weaknesses may those barriers be broken now in Jesus name lift up your voice as you begin to engage now in the mighty name of Jesus every stranger and calling it off in Jesus name let every stranger in my life, let every child in my life, let every child in my life, you are coming up our mouth, everything that is in your mind, in the mighty name of Jesus, Black Katiata, Katibra Gadagata, I am Jim Black Katibra Gadagata, I am 
March, the same. February, the same. The enemies are enjoying over those in quotes. They think that we have gang you. But they are forgotten there is a testimony in Christ. That's right. After you go through the valley of the shadow of death, the Bible said, and I'll prepare a table before you in front of my enemies. They, 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 are, they, are not, they are not privy to those testimonies. So they are jubilating over in quote your misfortunes. They are going to pray. They are saying, Father, I decree and I declare this new month, in this new month. Let the joy of my oppressors let the joy to them of them sorrow in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen carefully. They are saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, let the joy of my oppressors, of my enemies, and to them sorrows in Jesus' name. Even as I enter into a new month. In Jesus' name, lift up your voice. I should begin to pray now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, I agree and I declare, let the joy of my Rap, 
in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We are getting there. Oh, brother, 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 brother. We are so praying. Against, against every strong man. In Exodus chapter 9, verse 1, a story was told of a man, not just a man, a strong man, by name Pharaoh. He held the people of God captive. Then God sent the prophet Moses to him. Go tell Pharaoh, he should let my people go so they can save me. But if they had in their heart, the same Exodus chapter 9, verses 15, the Lord said, For I will stretch my hand, and I will smite thee, and the people with pestilence, and they shall be cut off from the earth. Hallelujah. Amen. Against anybody who is saying over their dead body, indeed, we will, we will attend their funeral. Amen. We are praying against anybody that, uh, uh, unless they, are, they, leave, they leave this office, they can never be promoted. Indeed, they will leave. Hallelujah. Every strong man from your maternal, from your maternal, from your, your community, from your, your place of work, from your marriage, from your education. Look, we have some families, there are barriers. If you want to go to school, from secondary school, you cannot continue. There are some families, you are not married, you can give them, give them to 10,000. The moment you get married, you will not give them. There are some families. They can never do a white color job. They can never do a white mm -hmm. color job. Because there is a strong man. Because there is a strong vowed. man who has vowed. Set over the other body. Vowed. Set over the other body. Indeed, we will attend their food. Indeed, we will attend their food. They are going to lift up our voice. They are going to lift up our voice. They are saying, Father, Father in, in the name, name of Jesus, Father let every strong man operating against, against my life. Be destroyed now in Jesus' name. Lift up your voice as you begin to pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ya mama 
Our last prayer before we cross over. Just pray this prayer. Please, this prayer is of essence. All that we have prayed. If you don't have victory over temptation and satanic device, you will come back to zero. The Bible describes a man who feared God. He was a horse of a family that always give reference to God. This man, even when his children go out party and he wake up the next day, he will offer a best sacrifice. He's in the person of Job. But this man lost everything. But what kept him in faith? He was a victorious man over temptation and satanic devices. And so when the friends, the wife, the children, everybody is pointing fingers at him. When everybody said he should curse the God and die. In Job chapter 42 verse 10, the Bible said, and Job had friends. When they were pushing him to curse his God, instead he prayed for them. He overcame the temptation. He overcame that temptation. And the Bible said, when he prayed this prayer, his captivities were turned around. And all that he lost, he had double. That was the bridge. I said, Father, grant me victory over temptation and satanic device. In Jesus' name, lift up your voice. Ya <laughs> <laughs> 
Instructions it will work for us. Water as your feet, as you believe, as we learned earlier, which your feet believes, take one either the water, the blood, or the oil. As I said, everything is needs to be backed with scriptures. Jesus Christ in John chapter 13. Verses 1 to 15, wash the feet of the disciples. He said, if I wash you not, you are not in me, neither am I not in you. So the power of the water, the power of the blood. In Exodus chapter 12, verse 1 to 13, the Bible said, where the mark is, where the blood is, he will pass over. And so the blood is going to be a mark of exemption. Amen. In First Samuel chapter 16, verses 13, the Bible said, Then the prophet Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed a man by name, David, and he became a great man. David was playing harp in the desert for animals. But when the blood came upon him, he ended up in the king's house where he played the same up and demonic powers flee as we administer this mystery tonight you are going to testify whatever you touch with it will answer for you according to your faith in jesus name let us bring please open it if the blood open it if the oil open it if it is a water poured in a glass 
or you, if it's a sachet or bottle water, you can use as a point of contact as we pray. Father, we thank you. We celebrate your name. Father, you will never leave yourself without a witness. Father, you have shown us the mystery of the water. You have shown us the mystery of the blood being the communion. You have shown us the mystery in the anointing oil. Father, as your people have been obedient unto your word, Father, manifest in that which they believe. Father, let whatever they are holding loses its natural component. It represents your totality. Father, when the oil came upon a man by name David, he began to make exploits. Whoever is heaven in possession of the anointed oil, may it turn into an oil of exploits in Jesus' name. Amen. Whatever the oil touches, let it return to them a testimony. Amen. As they administer, let the dead take back to life. As they administer, let favor follow them. As they administer, let them be hidden from their enemies. Let the same power that, is as, that was at work during the prophet's time, that was at work in David, be duplicated into the life of your people now. In Jesus' name. Father, you said, wherever we administer the blood, you will pass over. Meaning the blood represents the blood of exemption. Whoever is holding or having possession of the blood, let it represent a mark of exemption in Jesus' name. When the enemy comes in many ways, let them be hidden by the blood in Jesus' name. Amen. Wherever they administer the blood, our testimony, when the blood of Jesus Christ touched the ground, the ground shook. Wherever they administer the blood, let there be a shake. Let there be a shift. Let there be a movement. Fire the blood. In Jesus' name, if there is anyone called us sick or sick in our midst, and they administer whatever mystery that they are holding, let it return to them a testimony in Jesus' name. I over every content that they are holding, that it returns to them a testimony in Jesus' name. Whoever is having in possession the water, and the water quenches test. Whoever is thirsty, whoever is having possession of the water, Father, as they administer, wherever there is a need, wherever there is a need, wherever there is a test, let them be quenched, let them be revived in the mighty name of Jesus. Let whatever mystery that they are holding return to them a testimony in Jesus' name. I declare and I declare. Let your healing prowess be made manifest in the mystery they are holding now in Jesus' name. God of Jesus, be available. You have never failed us. You will never fail us. We will continue to take barriers. We will continue to take dominion. We will continue to take territories. Fire this mystery. Let it return to them a testimony as they administer. Let the blind be seen. Let the blind see. Let the mute be healed. Let the lame begin to walk. Let the hopeless be hopeful. Let everything dead turn back to life. In the name of Jesus, God of Bishop be able. Show yourself approved in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. As we lay, let us reflect you. Let every battle that has gone in the spiritual realm. Be won in, in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Father, we thank you. We celebrate your name. In Jesus', Jesus name. name. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, take this instruction. Wherever you are, wherever, wherever you are desiring, you are desiring a testimony. Please administer what you are holding according to your faith. And you will come and testify. In Jesus' name. Are we waiting for your testimony? 
grace, grace evangelist, evangelistic network will be waiting for your testimony. Please, when, when the testimony comes, do not hide it. Testify, testify for the good of others. Testimonies are keys for others. When you return, do not keep mute. May the Lord bless you and increase you till we meet again. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. I am done. Amen. Amen. Wow. That was so powerful. God bless you, Reverend Michael. I've been bless really you. blessed. I don't know about you. God bless you. God, I pray for you and I declare that whatever virtue that came out of me, the Lord will store the power of those in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord has found you, make it and make it you beyond your own imagination. May He make you great. Wonderful seven in Jesus' name. May He bless your home and you shall never lack. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let me show you my ugly face before I leave. <laughs> <laughs> it is working. Sure. Uh, All right. So this, uh, so this is me, myself. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. this, is the, this is the face. Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh, you like you the fish? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it is working. Sure. Yeah. Mm. It is working. Okay. Uh, so, so, dog. Yeah. Any yeah. announcements for us? <laughs> yes, please. So, we are getting there. Okay, so before we take the announcement, uh, our sister who ministered, she has a YouTube channel. I just want to use this platform to celebrate uh, her. You can just go on YouTube and like her channel. She has in food and things, delicious food. So, oh, so okay. follow her and then tasty and fresh. You can just follow her on YouTube and, uh, and like and subscribe and share as well. Yeah, that's the only way we can help each other. And also, we also have a YouTube channel. We have all our survival programs, the Grace Evangelistic Network on YouTube. Just go and subscribe and like as well. All right, so we'll take the announcement from the secretary. Hello, please, can you hear me? Hello. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, I want to say a huge congratulations to all of us online. Thank God for the gift of life for seeing the month of April. We thank God. And I want to say a special thank you to Reverend Mike Lassari for taking us through this um, nice session. It was very powerful and we are indeed blessed. Truly will come and testify to the glory of God. And I also want to acknowledge um, Reverend Fan and his wife and uh, for their good work, for the for the extreme work they are taking, uh, putting into this, for that, so that we have monthly revivals all the time. He's the only one who knows what he goes through, and may God richly bless him. May God richly bless him. I can see we have prophetess uh, Philippine also online. Prophetess Philippine, thanks so much for always uh, being a friend to the ministry, and thank you for joining us today as well. Uh, I also want to tell everyone Amen. online that we have our weekly midnight cry on Wednesdays, 12 midnight Ghana time. Every Wednesday, 12 midnight Ghana time. It's the same Zoom link. Please join us and let's cry unto the Lord at midnight. We all know the miracles that happen at midnight. Midnight is, 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 a, is worth a prayer. Join us. It has always been a powerful session. Also, please um, follow us on social media platforms. We have the YouTube Grace uh, Evangelist Network. We are on Facebook. We are on Instagram. Please follow us, like, and share our postings and, com and comment as well. Thank you all. May you have a successful week, a month. Thank you. <laughs> all right. So next this month, our revival is coming on. Uh, the flag is on the screen. We'll be looking at the team. The Lord giveth rest. The Lord giveth rest. So this month, we're starting from the 28th to the 30th. 
We have Reverend David Chair with us. We have Reverend Dr. Johnson Kofi. Also, our sister Yaira is going to be the one who will ask the administration. It's in mind. Even as we continue worshiping our Lord. And also, I want to just applaud us all. This was super great. We were very, very much on time. Uh, we started so early this year. From today, that there were also things. Uh, I saw a lot of it. So that's great. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. Bless us all so, so much. Okay, so if there are testimonies, um, okay, we'll take two if there are any. If there is none, okay, maybe you want to see me backstage and okay, you can do that as well. Before we take the question, if there are any testimony you can just share with us. Okay. And we want to thank all those who joined for the first time to worship with us. God bless you. And those who have been supporting one way or the other, God bless you and make you never lie. Amen. Amen. All right, let's take the benediction. As you have struggled throughout the years, the past years, as you struggled through the last year, even as you struggled in the past month, I declare by your life that in this new month, the Lord shall give you rest. Amen. Every member of yours shall be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Everything you have started in the past days, months, years, by year to see a result. May you walk in fruitfulness and divine result in this month in the name of Jesus. I declare by divine authority that any evil is strong, still wants you down, that still want to bring you down. May they go down in Jesus' name instead. I declare that your family said, I declare that they're blind to speak for you. Jesus. I declare that in this month of April, you will like nothing. No good thing that you do. May them keep an you. May you watch over you and keep you safe, even now and always. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Happy new month to you all, and happy birthday to everyone born in the month of April. God bless you all. Amen. See you next time.